Hey Ratbags, it's Jade. Welcome to a first look today at Blight Survival. This is a brand new four player co op semi open world game, maybe open world game. Just got a big five minute gameplay demo or trailer shown off at IGN today. And actually, this game's been around since last year. I remember checking it out a couple times to see if any development had gone on. And yeah, this is like their second big reveal, I guess, with actual gameplay. So, what is Blight? Why am I excited? Is it a survival game? Maybe. It's more of a roguelike, probably. But it's definitely got some elements that I think would really go well to survival fans. And I'm definitely interested in it. So, let's go over everything I can find about Blight. Reading the blurb, it is a four player co op action horror roguelike set in the unforgiving no man's land between two desperate states at ceaseless war. Within this purgatory, a new strain of blight has sprung from the remains of the dead. Strengthened by the blood that has been spilled, it rapidly spreads, turning man into monster. As the nations bleed, chastened and paralysed by war, they call upon you and your kin with offerings of coin. Being the only ones willing and capable, you've been tasked to venture in and raise the all consuming blight. Fight with up to three friends, your way through both men and monsters in a violent co-op action experience. Pillage and loot the spoils of those less fortunate, but remember, what has been found can once again be lost. Choose between a large selection of weapons, armour and customise them to best suit your playstyle. Explore the war ravaged lands in a huge map filled with secrets and plenty of coins to be found. Not bad, not bad at all. So there's no actual release date for it other than just saying it's coming soon. It's made by two indie developers and I've got to say it does look pretty fantastic. Overall, I'm really impressed by what I'm seeing here. The graphics look amazing, the action and the combat looks almost like a AAA with the, the sort of slow-mo kind of power moves and stuff. The elements of stealth are a surprise given it's like a medieval game. I'm not too sure about clunking around in the ground wearing a kind of full heavy metal suit. Is that really something you'd be doing, rolling about in the dirt uh, and would you be able to get back up again? But it does look like you'll be able to customise your character with different armour and play how you want. So it might make maybe more penalisation for players wearing heavy stuff compared to maybe lighter wear. But yeah, there's definitely a great atmosphere. It looks pretty stunning. I wonder how it would work with the four player segment. Doing these, would you coordinate it, running around together, trying to assassinate people quietly or just all run around the countryside running amok? Haven't been able to find too much about the roguelike nature of the game. Like is it a case of simply just having to restart the whole game again? And I've gone through a bunch of different websites, I've looked onto their website, I've tried searching on their social media, and I haven't found too much more that explains some of them details. But yeah, you can see here we've got some bow and arrow action as well, and I do love the idea of killing some medieval zombie style creatures, as well as regular army folk. Survival Medieval's had a tough time. There hasn't really been any great games lately, not for a long time, or just failed sort of early access releases. So anything that can blend or go into this genre, I'm totally down for. Especially with a bit more supernatural. Really love Hunt Showdown, that world is atmospheric, it's filled with great lore, and of course it is semi-battle royale. And of course we've had games like Chivalry and stuff, but they're very different to an open world survival-esque game. There's a couple floating around that may have promise like Renown, but we've also had things like the Black Death that didn't seem to really go too far either, so... I'm holding all my fingers crossed for this one, truly. But give me something where I can play with my friends and we can go through and face challenges, yeah. And if it is a roguelike, if it is a case of you dying and having to restart, I'd be down for that. If it's a fully open world where you can just go wherever you want. I mean, some people might get a bit upset about losing stuff, but as good roguelikes go, you normally come across powerful items or some way to get better or get different equipment with each new run. And that's what is really intriguing. It's not just a single level. The lighting looks great, and as I said, the combat looks good. Can you imagine just being able to really mix it up with your friends? You're the archer, I'm the battle-hardened berserker, I'm going to go with my pole axe or whatever. I was wondering if it was going to be a semi-open world, but it really does look like it's a big massive one. We've got like the western hinterlands here, minimal UI design, which I really like as well. It's not like in your face everywhere. Wondering where the survival mechanics actually come from. I can't really see too much other than possibly just a day and night time cycle, which is pretty prominent there. So suggesting that maybe at night time things will get a lot more dangerous than during the day. And I'm guessing that is your experience bar, the white one, and then the gold bar maybe your health. But again, we'll have to see how it goes. So fantastic stuff. I'm going to be all over this. I'll keep you guys up to date as soon as we get any more info about it. And yeah, go and check out their Steam page right now and give it a wish list. As always, the best in survival games, news, gameplay guides. I'll see you at bags later.